Second night, another absolute blockbuster. It's, uh, 7.50 down at Cadinia Park. Geelong, $1.56 favourites. Hawthorne, $2.44 outsiders. The line here, just under two goals. The over-under, one thirty-seven. And for the first time since 2006, Geelong will host Hawthorne down at the Cattery. And, guess who and won? Chris Scott must be bloody stoked. So guess who won in 2006? Yeah, Hawthorne. But Hawthorne. in 2006, Geelong wasn't that good. No, we were Hawthorne then. Yeah, true. Hawthorne were just cut, you know, still a year or two away. Um, now, can we read anything into round one form? Yeah, I reckon we can because Hawks towered up Brisbane. Yeah, they played, and the Cats night. were pretty poo. Yeah, because well, the Cats are poo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the Hawks were really good round one and they showed up Brisbane and now they travel down to the Cattery which I have a feeling that Clarkson would be loving it does it does set up nicely for a Clarko masterclass it, exactly that's what I was about to say it just sets up for something that Clarko to mastermind yeah, he can pull he can pull a little yarn of, of yarn of ball, yarn of thread out of the ball of wool some more Geelong references for you there in Cats and then uh, yeah kind of say you know people don't think we can beat them down there at their own home ground yeah. But we are Hawthorne, I am Clarko, here we go. Yep, correct. And, you know, they do play the ground really, really well, Geelong, and it's, you know, a bit skinnier and they can defend yep. well. But Down the bread roll, yep. I think Hawthorne's definitely got the kicking game and the players to get through that. So, and now they've got Patton, you know, they've got a long target um, for them as well. So, all he has to do is compete and win the ball the ground and they can reset. So, I reckon, I'm, I'm tipping the Hawks. Yep. Um, and... We know these two teams always have tight contests. Yeah. You, you always, they generally play Easter Monday. It's always really tight. Either, or, and, you know, one te- they always seem that it doesn't matter where they're on the table, they always have really good tight contests. And, uh, yeah, I just reckon that Clarko master stroke, Hawthorne won the 39, Hawthorne head to head, and just hope that the Cats just keep losing. That's, that's good value there, good value betting. But and sometimes I think just stats don't lie, and the stats is... Two stats, big stats. First, Geelong has won 15 of its last 16 games down at Cadinia Park. Second, Geelong has a 6-1 and one record from 2019 after a loss. Yep. They don't lose two games back-to-back. They lost round one. This is round two. Stats don't lie. Take Geelong for the win. Dollar fifty six. But I do agree it will be a close one. So if you wanted some extra value, take the margin bracket. Won the 39. I just don't know where they're going to keep improving from because they rely on the same players a lot and... They're getting older, and I just don't think they're that good. So I think that could be an advantage for them this year. Shorter season, so less fatigue, a lot more experienced heads. You can deal with high-pressure situations and some weird situations. A pretty smart coach in Chris Scott. He's not Alistair Clarkson, but he's pretty good in my opinion. So Geelong the win at home, it all makes sense to me.